Hi guys, just here to bring you um, another one of my journals here. Uh, this one here is a ring bound um, album, it's pretty chunky. Uh, the back is, it's hard cover and the back is covered in um, hessian that I have then painted over um, in an ivory coloured paint. It's just got a little bit of vintage lace and then a bit of hessian strip there that hasn't been um, painted. It's held shut with the Tim Holtz hitch posts with a hairband, so that's the closure. And it's on these large book rings, and then here it's just got a piece of lace and then um, a rusted charm. These are just charms that I just happen to have kind of from some old jewellery of mine um, that I've done the rusting, um, like the Sagita coffee stains technique. Um, so I just thought they looked quite nice on there. So on the front cover, obviously again it's a hard cover. Um, it's actually from old book covers. It's again um, actually been covered in a book page and then the hessian that's been painted in ivory and then it's got layered up um, different pieces of lace. So it's got some lace here, it's got some other lace down there, some more lace here and here um, down the side. And then it's got this image here from a book. Now this book, um, it's not vintage or anything, it's um, actually a child's book that I managed to pick up in a charity shop um, when I was picking up some vintage books but I loved the images um, so it's kind of got a, a nautical theme this album so I'm going to call it Sail Away and it's done in the most kind of subtle um, pretty colours it's just kind of ivory um, and then kind of a grey um, and then a duck egg blue so here on this image just torn it out of the book, I've coffee stained it, I've inked up the edges and then I stuck some other paper on the back, folded it over, just got a bit of layering going on there. <coughs> and then it's got some thesaurus page here and a die cut shape there, another die cut stamped image on there and then I've got some lace trim here, some faux de montes there and some hessian with lace and some um, buttons on here stitched on there and then I've just got a little flower that's um, very grungy and it's got a little pearl in there but you can't really see it very much because the petals are kind of over it and then a little flower here so going inside just open it with the um, fastening so here on the first page um, I've just got a corner pocket uh, from some of this lovely buff coloured um, scrapbook paper and then it's got some lace trim and also a kind of velvet um, ruffle trim that I've just done on the sewing machine and that's just been stitched um, like that and then stuck onto the page it's got some faux de monte going down there and then it's just got a little bit of layering and a big butterfly and that's just got a big pull out tag with some nautical stuff on there and um, some greaseproof paper and another one of those die cut images it's got a wooden tile at the top and some vintage lace um, and then room for journaling on here all the papers have either been coffee dyed or um, distress inked or both then um, this page all the pages have been made up from um, either file, file folders that I've stitched on the sewing machine to make huge pockets or I think there's a couple of envelope um, using the same uh, technique as well, folded over and kind of stitched on the same machine to make these big pocket pages. There's a plane outside being really uh, quite loud so I apologise for that. So on this page I've just covered it with some um, vintage thesaurus paper and then it's got uh, a doily on there and it's then got a piece of buff coloured cardstock there creating a belly band and then it's got another belly band here with this vintage lace trim and then it's just got some items there stuck on and it's got some photo monte down the bottom so tucked behind this belly band there's just a printable there from the graphics fairy that's just being coffee stained and distress inked that just goes in there and then here there's just a little fold out booklet um, just with some coffee st stained papers and a vellum cover um, it seems to have picked up some colour there from somewhere, I must have done it in a batch of um, scrapbook papers with some kind of uh, pinky, pinky lilac -y colours. So that just tucks in there. And then in the side there is a big tag 
um, that's just got some layered up um, details on it. It's got some stamped stamps and some thesaurus page, some stamping and another wooden tile at the top and some lace. And then it's also got a little tuck spot with this stamped image and just another pull out tag there that just tucks in and on the back it's just plain for journaling. That just goes in the side here. And then on this page I've just got some of that velvet trim down the bottom with some of the faux de monte and then I've got a die cut um, shape here and then I've got just a flap that flips up um, made from a little uh, wage envelope and I've layered up an image from the book and some um, thesaurus paper and some scrapbook paper and then I've tied this pretty um, sort of slim looking organza ribbon round just to make it look sort of extra pretty done some stamping and distressed it all and then under there I've put sorry um, so just raise the um, tripod a bit so that you can see that properly. I've just put some coffee stain paper on there um, for more journaling space and then inside there it's just got a little tag there um, that just slots in. So that's that. And then behind this die cut shape there's another tag just with some sheet music, all the sheet music's vintage um, and it's got a decoupage napkin image. Uh, just layered up with one of these little stamped images and some lace that just tucks in there Really love the colors of this book. It really turned out just so pretty I really really love it and really different kind of other books because there's no flowers or anything It's all kind of nautically and yeah, really nice uh, On this page. I've just got one of these fold down kind of book things um, I've done these a couple of times now in um, my journals and really like them. You can get a lot of journaling space inside these because I obviously can put a little kind of pad in there and obviously you've got the actual um, structure itself. So there's quite a bit of journaling space in there and then also it acts as a little pocket so in the side there's just another pull out tag there for more journaling. And um, that just tucks in here and then down here I've just got the word perfect and some more of that faux de monte, a bit of vintage um, doily there that I managed to get into charity shop and I've just kind of cut it into little sections um, and I've actually I think I finished using it on this journal so uh, it's quite a bit in here and then some lace at the top and then in the side pocket of this page there's <coughs> A little fold out booklet here with some just coffee stained papers and this one's been stitched on the sewing machine um, down the signature so again more journaling space there and a little just label here um, on the front so that just goes in the side like that and then here on this page I've got some more of that doily at the top a couple of stamped images a bit of layering going on here and then just a little fold out um, little kind of booklet here and obviously um, I love these ring bound albums actually uh, journals because A they're really nice when I make them I have a lot more freedom than I find in the Midori um, or the Traveller's Notebook insert uh, style books which I feel quite restricted where these I kind of yeah feel I have a lot more freedom kind of to really embellish and um, you know kind of use my things and um, also for actually using them because obviously you can just take the pages out so like this page you could just take it out journal on here and then obviously put it back in that just um, holds shut here like that so I I quite like these um, style of journals really here I've just got a couple of um, skinny tags this one just says believe in miracles here and they're just held with some of that ball chain stuff and that just slots in like that. Then on this page I've got some lace down the bottom and some um, faux de monte here and a little journaling spot at the bottom and then here on the side I've just got one of these bulldog clips and it's holding shut a little booklet here with a lighthouse image really pretty um, lovely image there and that's a little booklet 
which is actually um, attached here into the inside pocket of the page so it doesn't come out um, so again obviously this is quite nice because you could take this page out you could journal on here and then kind of put it back um, and under there it's just got one of these um, die cut shapes which again quite like those and then just here um, a fabric lacy kind of flower um, that I thought looked quite nice there and also there's a big tag here uh, it's just got some doily and um, on this vintage sheet music and then it's got some greaseproof paper and just an image from the uh, kids book of a compass there and then on the back it's just plain I just stapled on the um, vintage lace at the top and a little bow uh, and that just tucks in there like that and then I'll clip it with the clip in a second but inside this pocket again there's another pull out booklet so there's quite a few booklets in here so really loads of space for journaling um, and photos and things so that flips out like that and it's obviously again been stitched on the sewing machine inside the front cover there's just a little belly band with again another little pull out tag that just slots in like that and then the front cover's just got this uh, think big thoughts but relish small pleasures quite like that sentiment so that just then goes in there and then on the next page here uh, it's just got a big pocket here that's been stitched on the sewing machine it's just some vintage sheet music and then I've got this um, little fold out kind of booklet that's just got a bit of kind of clustering going on on the front and then it's got another piece of that vintage doily that's been held with a rusted safety pin and a little heart there that I've also rusted um, and then that's a little pocket for just a little bit of coffee stained paper that's just been tucked in like like that and then here there's just a piece of this is actually some book page um, which I just cut down to size and um, I've just put it in there for some extra journaling paper really oops so that just oops now I've uh, crumpled the edge right <laughs> I can't ever do these things on camera for some reason um, it's very weird because uh, I <laughs> sometimes get myself in a bit of a state about doing my videos and you think oh gosh you know and then the words don't form and things but anyway so uh, that's that side and then here on this page I've got one of those large tags that I've been using quite a bit recently it's held on with just an altered paper clip here um, just with a hot air balloon and um, some vintage coffee stained lace and just kind of clustered up there on that safety pin uh paper clip see words not coming and then here on this tag i've stitched it on the sewing machine there's some um of this kind of lacy kind of trim here actually forming a belly band so again you could tuck something in there and then it's just got some clustering going on there um as per kind of my inspiration from my happy mail from laura so and that's got some um Oh, sewing pattern um, as well and then on the back it's just some coffee stained paper so again lots of room for journaling and that's just paper clipped onto this page which is actually made from an envelope so here I have got um, some sheet music on the envelope the envelope itself has been coffee dyed it's got some doily and then it's got a pocket here made from the scrapbook paper another one of those lovely images from the book layered up on some greaseproof paper and some um, book pay page there and behind there is just um, a tag that I've made here with various things stuck on there so that just goes in and it's also a top loading pocket where I've just put um, the index page from some sheet music which I've just trimmed down slightly because obviously it was a bit too wide to actually go with then you know it made it too long to sit in the book nicely so I just trimmed it down and then I've ruffled the edges a little bit so it's looking a bit more vintage but I put that in because obviously the back is plain so again a really good size um, bit for journaling on there and that just tucks in at the top like that now I can't get that in <laughs> what's wrong with me today um, and I'll just put that back in a second 
so on this side of the envelope I've again just layered it up with various things so it's got some sheet music it's got some scrapbook paper it's got this little frame here and then here a little cluster that I've done just to form a kind of corner tuck which again kind of inspired by initially Laura um, from my happy mail and then also from the Jessica Rapp um, videos of the clustering so I've layered it up with various images and some vintage lace and some of this pearl trim um, also got a little uh, fabric flower there that I've just layered up with some vintage lace and then some organza um, like faux satin and things and some more lace trim and then it's got pearl center and I've actually coffee dyed um, the flowerets or the flower petals themselves I haven't coffee dyed the uh, lace so that's that and then that's just a tuck spot with just a printable that I thought went quite nicely with the journal so that just goes up there and then here on this page, um, again, it's another one of those kind of file folders that I've stitched on the sewing machine. And then I've covered it with the sheet music. And on the other side, it's got scrapbook paper, which is kind of forming like an envelope flap here. So what I've done is I made a small hole and I've put this little tag on a bulb pin here. Um, I'll just lift it up so as you can see a little bit more. And then I've glued some string underneath the tag. So this tag's actually fixed, it's not moving or anything. So the string is attached there and it's attached also underneath this um, postcard. And then it just ties in a knot here to hold the flap closed. Um, so that's how that works. So I'll go inside the flap in a second, but first of all, uh, just got some more of this velvet trim down here and then I've got two different postcard images that I've just stamped and stuck on as pockets so the first one here it's just got one of those little flip pads just using kind of scraps of the coffee stain paper and that's just been stitched at the top on the sewing machine that just goes in that bottom pocket and then here in the top pocket I've just got another one of those stamped images there and then inside this pocket there is another little booklet again just with some coffee dyed paper again just been stitched on the sewing machine down the center um, and then it's just got an image from the book of the foghorns so that just goes in like that and then obviously to shut the flap again you just tie it and now my neighbors are out there making it of noise I couldn't really have picked a worse time obviously to do this uh, video so I apologize again if you can hear noise um, so that just ties there like that and then on the reverse side of there I've just got again another little cluster in the top corner um, various little bits and bobs stuck on there and then that's forming a tuck for this little tag that I've just clustered some items on um, and just left it blank on the back it's just got some velvet trim at the bottom with some faux diamante and then I've got one of these beautiful frame stamped images um, that I just thought complemented it quite nicely and that's just forming a little pocket for another little fold out book there that just goes up like that and then here on this page um, I've just got some sheet music and then some vintage lace at the bottom and a couple of layered up things with the postcard and binoculars, some layering of some script writing, a little bit of the faux de monte. And then here I've just layered up um, a stamped image here on some uh, greaseproof paper. And then I've put it on another one of those wage envelopes where in the corner I've just made a little hole and um, clipped on with a bulb pin, a butterfly and a little round tag. So that goes there and then inside that that's forming a pocket sorry inside that there's just a stitched um, handmade envelope on some coffee stained paper and inside there it's just got a little buff colored literally just cut it from the scrapbook paper and then um, ruffled the edges and distressing it to that so that goes in there and then on there I've just put a little postage stamp stamped image there that's that and then here in the side um, is another little booklet 
and here I had to kind of include the write-up of this because I had never seen one of these before um, and possibly many of you I'm sure have but um, it's the one man submarine and it, it must have been called a turtle built in 1775 um, and it's just it looks hilarious but <laughs> I just found that really fascinating I have to say I would absolutely hate to be in there it looks very claustrophobic and the thought of actually being submerged kind of underwater in that is terrifying to me but yeah I um I thought that was really interesting so I've just kind of left a little bit of write-up on there because I, I found that really fascinating um and then it's just got some greaseproof paper here uh layered up and then again the booklet's just got some coffee stained paper and it's just been again stitched on the sewing machine down the center um and then it's just got some vintage lace down there so that just goes in that side pocket and then um, here on the back page, and I have to say actually, lately I've been saying um, my favourite pages of, of my books, but actually I'm not sure what's my favourite page from this book because actually I really loved how it turned out and I really like all of them. I love this page equally, I really like this um, flap, um, love this page also. Um, and really like this envelope here I think that looks really nice um, and I love this with the um, tied string so yeah I'm struggling to find a favorite on this one actually so uh, yeah I'm not sure but perhaps you could comment below and tell me what what's your favorite so because um, yeah I'm not sure that I have one in here I've got some more of that um, painted hessian just forming a pocket I've layered up some of this gorgeous organza fabric across it and then I've used some of these before, but I um, had a few more left. So I've just stuck this big gem on here. And then I've just, <coughs> excuse my throat, um, got some lace here. And then a little applique in the corner. And then here I've just tucked in, um, this was some spool thread that I got from a charity shop. I got a few of them. So actually I've included one in another journal that I've done recently, um, which I haven't uploaded a video for yet. Uh, but I took the thread off of this and I've actually put some um, roughly ribbon on instead and I've just glued it on to the back but obviously whoever got um, you know buys this journal they'd be more than welcome to obviously take the um, ribbon off and then use it in their own journals you know or indeed leave it in I thought it just looked quite pretty on there and also I've got another little fold out booklet there that just goes in like that and then here on the inside of the back cover finally um, I've got one of those uh, little kind of fold out booklet things and I think um, I'm right in saying it was Kelly Snow who had given me this idea I've done it now a couple of times in a couple of my journals she had it on one of her I think it was a sewing album she had it on the cover her mum had made um, a few of these apparently and I just really love them I think what a clever way to get extra journal in space so um, I like how they look on the outside appearance I like the fact that when you open them you can kind of attach in a little kind of pad so that's what I've, I've done in here I think that's really nice um, and I also like the fact that they can obviously be a top loading pocket um, for more space so yeah I think they just really maximize the um, space on the page really so that's that it's just on some, some thesaurus paper and then it's got a couple of items just layered up here behind um, kind of from the child's book that's been again distressed and coffee dyed and then it's just got some vintage lace at the bottom and layered up with some of this faux de monte and I've just made a little tag here from some um, atlas paper that I had and then I've just left the back plane for journaling that just slots in the top and then obviously you've just got the um, hairband there for the hairband closure so um, that's the completed journal uh, I should have again bought my tape measure but again I have not been that organized um, I'll, I'll try and remember and actually put the measurements in the description below uh, but I hope you like it I was thrilled actually on how it turned out I really thought it was quite different and um, you know quite 
quite unusual so yeah I really liked it I'll be popping it on my Etsy shop so uh, if you're interested please um, go and check it out and thank you so much for your comments recently um, they're really lovely and you know really nice to to read because I think I've said this before when you do these videos you just wonder whether you're just waffling and waffling and no one's really that interested in hearing you speak or seeing what you've made so it's really nice to kind of read comments and things so thank you so much um and yeah have a great day so see you soon thanks bye